day has finally come. RC car jumping day. We'll test and tune jumping day. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman, Freeman here. We got Cole. We got the trailer. I got lucky too. We're picking up two more cars today. So this is the fellow that designed the RC remote for these jumping cars. He came from four hours away, stayed in a hotel last night, and now it's time. So basically, you guys all know the car jump. It basically comes down that hill way over there and then jumps that jump. But that's not big enough. We want to go bigger. So now we're going to come from the gate all the way up this driveway, all the way down to that jump. So it's going to be, she's going to be pretty big, pretty exciting. We tested it with this car, got her up to like 100, 120 and uh, blew the oil pan out of it already. So we may need to top her off with oil. You ready to do this? Oh, yeah, man. Is this thing going to work? A couple of sleepless nights? Yeah. <laughs> you excited? Oh, I have oh. sleep over. Yeah, bit of a bit of a hike, but uh, it'll be worth it. And I'm glad I'm glad we got two more cars coming too. So you know, if we wreck one, there's always two spares because there's nothing worse than having one car getting ready to do you know the most epic whatever, and then the car doesn't start or whatever. Like my last two cars, I just got rid of. You know, we went to destroy them finally, and both of them were dead. <laughs> so that's why we kind of had to keep moving this back, and then you know having the baby and whatnot. I'm a father now. It's pretty exciting stuff. So. Um, all right, we're gonna go pick up those other cars and uh, should we jump the Dodge? Yeah, <laughs> it's been jumped before. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's roll. Good old town of St. Mary's. Just gonna grab some cash real quick. Good morning. Beautiful. We're at the undisclosed location. These are our two freshies. We got the old Premier Subaru here. That sounds like it's running on all cylinders. A little chunky when it started off. A little chunky, eh? No one loves a chunky Subaru. How much gas is in it? Quarter tank. Oh, beaut. This one might need a boost. Look at this thing, eh? Ooh, I bet the Subaru's probably all-wheel drive. I feel like Subaru's only coming all-wheel drive. They can't not be. Does it say on it? I think it is. It's got to be. Or four-wheel. Oh yeah, lots of buttons. Man, these things are gonna friggin' fly it. Wow, it actually smells nice in here too. This will be front wheel drive. The party. Party mobile. We'll leave the windows down too in case we uh, get locked out. Do the same thing. Yeah, I've definitely had to smash a few windows to get back in. Smallest windows are most expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, eh? Ooh, all right, let's fire this thing up and get her out of here. This one looks like it's been sitting under a tree. Come on, twin cam. Power. How much gas you got? Eighth of a tank. Oh. <laughs> Look at these fenders. Never buy an aluminum trailer with these removable fenders. This is the dumbest thing ever. I had no clue because this was kind of my first trailer, but ridiculous. We even welded them back on so many times. Make sure she's got brakes. <laughs> Don't need to end up in the back of the old Ford here. Yeah. That's good. All right, let's get this thing home. See if she uh, has wings. Look at that, this thing's even got general tires on her. Same as my truck. Well, mine are a little more aggressive. These things got more tread than your truck? Yeah. Yeah, and they got general tires on them too. Sweet. All right, let's get out of here. And an hour later, we made it back. <laughs> oh man, this thing is freaking hilarious. All right, we got three cars. I'm gonna be, let you make the choice. Which one should we do the experiment on first? Subaru. Subaru? Nice tight steering. Tight, we like it tight. Keep her tight. <laughs> Tight's a good thing, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. 
Oh, she only got 210, basically brand new. Come on, girl. She had a long night last night. She takes her time. Working on the cobwebs. Yeah. So we got a bit of a somewhat smooth run up to it. Basically, it'll come through here. Here's where the big hole is, kind of right here. But if we just go through this grass, it's smoother. And then this is the jump we're gonna hit. That's awesome. Yeah. I brought my weed eater down. Maybe we'll drive this over it too, knock some weeds down. Got enough gas? Yeah. All right, shut this off. So yeah, basically this is the old car jump. So the cars start up there, come down here, jump over. Like it's not that much of a run up, what, 150 feet, give or take? Yeah, not much at all compared to what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do. So yeah, basically they're gonna start by that tree. Where's my finger here? There it is. They're gonna start by that tree at the gate, come ripping up the driveway wide open and then launch over this. So the jump obviously goes this way, so I don't know if they're gonna launch over, hit that, clear this, go on the other side. We'll do our best to put it in the neighbor's field. Yeah, the world yeah. is our oyster. I was hoping we were gonna put it in the sky. <laughs> it. it just never comes back down. Uh, all right, let's knock some weeds off here. Subaru weed eater. Knock them down, you don't need a weed eater at all. Yeah, just the Subaru. <laughs> 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 I was wondering what I ran over. Yeah, just a bit of rubber. Yep. Up and jump it. <laughs> yeah, I'd say still you catch. almost got another oil pan. Almost. Oh yeah? Yeah. Probably took the rat out. It's good for it though. It's good it's for it. It's air cooled, right? Yeah, exactly. It's Subaru. They're made to go through anything. Let's rig her up and get her jumping. This is their setup. Oh, yeah. She's nothing fancy. We can't tell you too much about it, but all we can tell you is it's gonna fly to space. To the moon. This thing's gonna rip too. The dust in the back. We may have took the gravel all the way home. Not sure why. Well, he's getting that thing rigged up. I'm gonna unload this weapon and take my weed whacker down there too. Knock some weeds down. I got the 15 amp hour on this thing. This thing is huge. 100% my favorite is battery though. Most favorite? Favoritest. Um, yeah, it lasts so freaking long, especially for weed whacking or a leaf blower. Let's get this thing fired up. Excuse me. I guess I don't need the launch o -matic anymore, but I do. I'm going to grab the strap and the bungee cord just to set up the GoPro here. Wow, we got a rainbow of lights going here. Holy security. These are nice. Have a quick Siggy, quick quick speed stick. How many K we got on this thing? Only 120, wow. Oh, hell yeah. What do we got here? Footloose. I can run that. Can't remember last time I put a cassette in. <laughs> wow. All right, Mark's Yard Trimming Services. At your service. I think we got a little gas leak in this thing too. Go for a rip, get our supplies. Just get a little pep to her. Freaking beauty, she's getting hot quick, holy. Oh yeah. Extend the old string there. I really need two hands to do this. Firing myself for my own landscaping service. 
that was tricky. I ended up just using the car and backing over a lot of the weeds. <laughs> oh. But I was thinking those weeds are so aggressive. They're pretty much trees. Yeah. I was thinking of literally just hooking a rope to a tire and just dragging them over it. I mean, the weeds are fine. They can stay there, but I'm just worried they're going to get in the way of the shot. Yeah. Jesus. Professional. Yeah. <laughs> $60. Not bad. Not bad. Came in under budget. <laughs> yeah, I'd call that a win. <laughs> Remote uh -oh. control car. <laughs> We're off to a bad start. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Coke. Oh, she fell off. All right, about two and a half, three hours of dinking around. We were ready to jump and then, you know, minor malfunction. So it's all about the R&D. But now we're going to do a test with us inside. <laughs> no <laughs> this seems brakes. super sketchy, no brakes. Well, we got brakes, but it's it's me. Yeah. I'm running that, so. All right. Don't kill us. Yeah, uh, you're in control. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are with that thing. Hey, my job is to go forward. Okay. You need to stop us. Oh, all right. Oh, God. I'll it's be ready. Right. neutral. Oh, that is neutral? Uh, We're turning. We still have to tighten this up, so it's not gonna have the best turning right now. But it is turning. We haven't died yet. I like the speed. No more speed, yeah. please. Um, my finger's <laughs> off the trigger. Okay. Are uh, we gonna hit the jump? Yeah, here. <laughs> I'm back in neutral. Take her off the throttle. Uh, you gotta, that's you, buddy. What? You turn it off. Oh. I'll have to uh, tinker a little bit more just to get the throttle release to work, but all in all, that's a lot better than it was. All right, well, I should just put it in reverse back yeah. so we can back up because we're almost at the jump now. <laughs> all right, back up. I'm trying to line this thing up. Don't fall out. Oh my god. What a morning we've had so far. It's almost lunch. But I think we're almost ready to fly. Our issue is. We have gas, but it can't let off the gas. So if something does happen, it'll just keep going. We're committed. We're committed to the job. Uh. We got the car wedged up there. We got the drone ready. We're gonna go set up up there. Good luck, everyone. Did you put it in drive? Yep, she's ready to go. Oh, my hands are shaking already and I'm just filming today. <laughs> Let's do this. This is my tripod setup. I'm on the old car jump. So they come down here, boom. This is the new setup. Ready when you are. Oh, I'm shaking. So yeah, we have steering and just gas. Can't even get off the gas. Holy crap. Oh, it jumped. It wasn't wild, but... Where's it going now? It's rolling off. Yeah, stay there. <laughs> She was a fairly good success. I guess the only issue is the throttle slipped off right before the jump. Ooh, mud hole. But other than that, it doesn't look like we're broken. Went down with a good slam. Yeah, she's a good bang. Ugh. But now we know, now you have some practice. Yeah. Need 
need me some uh, tools or something. Cut the zip ties. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get her out of here and try another. But yeah, look, you look pretty comfy driving. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure I didn't overcorrect it and try to get it lined up. But if that throttle didn't come off, I think we would have smoked it. Yeah. We were probably doing 60 or so yeah, at that's the pretty decent. tire back there. It's nice. This thing has good clearance too. So maybe we'll have to get more zip ties out and hopefully she's still good. Yeah. Let's do it. Can we get out of here? Can't even touch the gas. Neutral. Oh yeah! Oh, getting rained on, a little mud. Maybe I'll come up behind you, give you a bump. Or not. Old Subi. Come on, girl, you got this. Ooh, that really sunk there. Some thick clayish mud. Oh, heck yeah. Keep going, keep going. Stop. You reversal. I'll give you a push. <laughs> Shooting all the mud at me. Now I'm gonna be stuck. <laughs> of course. That thing's stuck. We got this thing out somehow. Did a little burnout too. Let's grab the truck, pull the car out. Hopefully the uh, system didn't break. I will try and smash one more jump out. It's been an ordeal. Got here at 8 a.m. It's 12:30. We just got one jump out of it. So it's all the R&D though. That'll be uh, the first unit, but we'll definitely make a new one, better, faster, stronger. But yeah, it went straight. Jumps not very good, but still jumped. So the driveway is definitely the way to be. That came out easy. Go grab the groceries. There's a lot going on here. Oh! Oh, it's because my foot's on the brake too. There's no room down here. Come on, girl. There we go. Not a lot of room for activities. Ow! Everything is super sharp. That felt good. Lots of life left in this thing. Just gotta see if the remote still works. Let's get one more jump out of it at least. So a bit of minor damage. She's a little bent. Just gotta retract the throttle. We just got her parked up against this hill so it won't drive away. But yeah, hopefully we can slap her all together. Looks like the subframe's bent up a little bit, but not too bad. No leaks or anything. And I drove it back, so she runs good. Let's do this again. Everything seems to be good, so we're just going to line it up. We're going to start farther back now, right back there. Obviously, we'll move this truck. That gives it more of a straighter shot. And yeah, I want to see this thing fly. I'll look at the front end of it. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go around two. She rigged up. Got the sun hat on. It is freaking hot out today. It does not feel like fall at all. Good, good. Back up on my tripod, there's a high chance I'm definitely hung up. There's nothing underneath there. So we're way fur ba further back. He's got the throttle strapped right down. Uh oh. She's on a mission. Oh, it's hung up. Go stop it! Sounds like it got knocked to neutral.
got no brakes on this freaking thing. Come on, let me out. Piece of crap. What's that? The zip ties uh, snapped again. <laughs> and we pulled it hard left. Oh. So we came across and hit the little jump kicker over there. and Yeah, I was like, where are you going? I saw it go left to the start. I was like, oh, God. I think we got more air over here than there, though. I didn't see it. <laughs> the drone did, right? Yeah, hopefully. Looks like it kind of came through here. Well, you didn't hit the metal ramp, so that's good. You probably would have busted that all up. We lost our uh, fairing in the back. Looks like it's over there. Is she good, though? Can we keep her? We can get three out of it. Yeah. Hopefully it didn't get too hot there. I see it smoking a little bit. Damn zip ties. We're going to have to see? quadruple zip tie. Oh, jeez, yeah. yeah Need right pipe clamps. Oh. We're getting there. Thank God we got the Subaru. I don't think anything else would have lasted. Just sliced my arm. What's that? Oh yeah, all the ties. All right, we'll meet you back at the start again. Yeah. She's still alive. Hopefully it doesn't get too hung up there. Oh yeah, it's Subaru. Another day at the office. I'll probably drive this home later. <laughs> This thing's on its last legs and we haven't even done anything to it. Let's get this done. She's getting a little sideways. Hopefully that doesn't affect it too much, but this is our little block, the trailer wrap. That doesn't go anywhere. Bit of a steering complication now. We're turning right, but not left. So we're just gonna pull that apart real quick and see, uh, hopefully it's not too messed up. Well, the old one's kind of screwed, so we're just going to try and steal a new one out here. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. We're going to jump her the old manual way. Rick on the gas, send her off. we got to get out of here. It's been freaking... It's 1.40. It's time to go. Let's go shut her down. Subaru just doesn't want to die. Unreal. Uh, well, it's kind of a pain this that morning, but that's what R&D is all about. I'm glad we got a flip out of it. Could you see the flip? Not quite with kind the of? tall uh, boy, grass and whatnot, yeah. but I saw the back end of it go up and Perfect. knew it was going over. Well, we got the drone too, so. We had one and a half remote control jumps. We're like, you know what? <laughs> We gotta refigure this thing out. Let's yeah. just get a jump and let's get home. So we will do more remote control jumps, but for now, we're just gonna relax. This tire finally gave way. Oh, uh, it's about time. After three jumps. Oh my God, this thing must have landed nose down, eh? Hey, still didn't break the opiate. <laughs> She's a little crushed. Might but. be leaking out the top now, but. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. Oh yeah, carnage. Carnage. All right, well, let's uh, run back. We'll get this thing flipped over and then we'll... I just gotta pull all our... Oh, easy there, turbo. 
find all our stuff that was in the back and be good to go. She was a good Subaru. We got the Yankum tow rope, the soft shackle there. This thing's amazing. Let's see if we can get this thing flipped over. <laughs> Almost took me out there. Try again. Give her a good shot. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, back her up. I'd say that's pretty good. Hey, I'll, I'll reposition it. Got her halfway. Let's see what she's got. The old soft shackle. That thing works awesome. These Yankum ropes, I tell you, everyone needs one in their life. They're just gonna have to jerk her. Go a little more right. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, let's clean up some shrapnel. Donate the glass back to the earth. She was a good car. Bought her this morning, done by the afternoon. Beautiful. Yankum ropes, check them out, link below. Huh. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Glad we got a car jump today. We will figure out the remote. Obviously it's gonna take some time. Can't be perfect on the start. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, Mark. Glad we could do this, that was freaking fun. Glad we chose the hottest day of the week. Yeah. I'm dead. And my kid only slept like two hours last night, so that means I only slept two hours. We're here for a coffee. All right, safe drive home. Check out the links below. Get yourself a Subaru. We'll see you later.